What's going on everybody? I want to talk about your future. And make sure you subscribe because tomorrow we'll be doing our 200 subscriber giveaway. And if you subscribe, that will push us right over to 300 so quickly that you might win both, right? The 200 and the 300. So it's definitely worth subscribing right now. Uh, the topic of this video is maybe a little, it's going to maybe sound a little crazy. Uh, it might seem a little off topic of what normal Warhammer content videos are. But I'm curious if anybody who watches my channel has any kind of future or dream or goal or life goal, happiness goal, anything that directly relates to the hobby or maybe to any hobby. But because we're mostly talk about, you know, miniature painting and games and stuff here, you know, preferably tell me if it's about that but uh you know if you wanted to be the you know renowned archery coach you know right that part archery could be your hobby right something like that i don't know so for me personally i you don't know, really gets me rock hard <laughs> uh when when somebody's doing something and it's just like something real cool that seems like that's just what they uh, wanted to do with maybe their life, right? So if you had a buddy or you knew a guy or a girl or something, and let's say, for example, they uh, started a business selling t-shirts they designed, right? And they always loved designing t-shirts. And now you would, for me personally, that would fill me with like a lot of joy or, I don't know, not pride, but resent. <laughs> no, but uh, it would fill me with a lot of joy, right? Seeing somebody that I know, uh, whether or not I care about them, I guess. Or even motivation, if you don't care about them, but you want to maybe accomplish what they have. Uh, seeing them do something that they, I guess, want to do, right? I know a guy who I'd consider somewhat of an acquaintance or a friend, not really like a friend I would, I don't know, I don't really do anything anyway, but I was going to say call to hang out with, but I don't really hang out with anybody, so just people that I game with uh, nowadays. I'm I'm trying to become like a hermit. But anyway, when I knew him, when I lived in uh, Vegas, he was a waiter, and now he's like one of the number one golf, like used golf equipment online retailers on like eBay. Huge, huge difference right he's a waiter probably working on his ebay store now he's like an ebay giant with a giant warehouse and he buys up entire golf stores uh, inventory pretty cool uh, i don't know if he i know he golfs and stuff now but i don't know if he was previously interested in golf but whatever it was he worked on it and he took the extra steps so if your future included i'm basically going to get out like art for me it's going to be like painting and art and stuff maybe you know youtube or whatever uh but if your future included your hobby and let's say your dream goal or whatever your ultimate you know you get one wish type to design your life or whatever i don't know uh let's say it included your hobby you know what are you doing to maybe achieve that right and this, I don't want to sound like super motivational or try to sound like I'm trying to be super motivational because I'm not. I'm really just wanting to say this out loud because it holds me accountable for it. And it's something I, you know, once you say something out loud, it commits to memory a little better. It's like if you read a book out loud, you'll probably memorize it, you know, pretty good, like a textbook or something. So if you wanted to be... A painter and you ended up say you wanted to this would be an example of me that didn't quite pan out but I wanted to be an oil painter I always wanted to be an oil painter even when I was little I remember writing down on what do you want to be when you grow up and I want to be a famous painter probably when I'm t since I'm 12 years old something like that right I submitted you know 
things and art shows and stuff. And I always wanted to be an oil painter, but I was never, you know, never good enough. And I never had the right teachers or I never did this or that, right? And in reality, looking back on it all, I never put in the time. Like when you hear somebody paints... And this is going to be a lot about painting, but, you know, apply it to whatever you like to do. Uh, when you hear somebody paints for like eight hours a day, then you got to ask yourself, what are you doing for eight hours a day, right? And if they're painting for eight hours a day and you're not, then you're left behind, right? And that's just how it is. If you were a pianist and uh, you practiced on the piano eight hours a day, you would be a monster by the end of a year, right? Eight hours a day? Nobody does that. The only thing people do for eight hours a day is waste their life working on stuff for other people, which is super unfulfilling, at least to me. The more and more I watch and think about it, like, I just can't even picture it at all, right? Currently, I work for my uncle and my father and uh that's super cool and i like you know being somewhat of a help to them but at every moment i do that uh is not a moment that i learn how to edge highlights slightly better or color mix a perfect dirty orange or whatever right i don't but it is a moment that i learn how to you know, organize a spreadsheet a little better or send an email a little better. But if I send emails for eight hours a day, am I going to be the best emailer in the world? Well, I mean, if you were and you were like some kind of marketing guru, that could be cool. But so if your future goal or life goal, I really should have thought of a way to to phrase this before I started this video but like I said I just wanted to say this out loud so it's kind of a stream of uh, I don't have a script behind me I just have a avalanche of like unbuilt war hammer coming down on me <laughs> so I'll, I'll use me as an example of my dream is to make two thousand dollars a month in dividends from stocks have zero monthly bills or as close to zero monthly bills as possible obviously you're gonna need like car insurance and food profit property tax things like that uh, and I could paint and hang out and play sorry I dropped something and I could play board games or miniature games or talk about hobbies and things that I'm interested in on say the internet or with people once or twice a week but the rest of the week I was maybe maybe in the middle of nowhere right like in a, in a cabin or something like a hermit like that seems awesome to me then maybe I sell uh, commission painted models but not things people paid me necessarily to paint for them, but things I wanted to paint and then sold. Traditionally, how a uh, maybe a oil painter would do it, uh, excluding obviously portraits, paint you know portrait painting and things like that. But if you were a still life painter, you probably just paint still lifes, and then hopefully the way you painted your still life catches somebody's eye and they have money and it's gonna match their furniture and you know they're gonna buy it for thirty thousand dollars or whatever, right? But realistically, you got to be very good to do that. And to be very good, you got to put in a lot of time. Uh, so the amount of time I spent eating nachos made me very, and still I'm world champion, the best nacho eater in the world, right? I can just crush nachos. I love them. They're crunchy. They got cheese, sour cream, right? So it's good. But... If you could go back in time and reinvest your time, obviously you'd probably choose different maybe focuses. You know, maybe all that time you spent uh, playing guitar for four years, you would have rather spent, you know, learning how to work on cars or whatever, right? But you can't do that. So going forward, 
you have to you know spend your time uh, in it's like commit your energy or time or money towards what you want right does that make sense I hope you guys are still with me on this wacky journey through my brain <laughs> uh, so you want to commit so every moment I spend holding a brush right every moment I spend holding a brush this becomes more a part of you right you get more brush control you get more accuracy more uh, sensitivity to pressure on your brush you know better strokes better brush strokes more artistic brush strokes every time you spend here's a lost art in uh, miniature painting which I think would come around at some point a lost art of miniature painting so it seems is color mixing which is oil painting right it is painting basically for the most part it's like color mixing getting your colors your values everything correctly and everything else just the illusion of painting the magic of art is created through that uh, and I'm excluding all nonsense bullshit uh, modern art right so I'm talking about real master level things like Bouguereau, Raphael, Titian, Rembrandt, Caravaggio, Leonardo, DiCaprio. So, so color mixing, when, every time we open up, and I had them all, right? I got a whole bunch of paints here. Every time I pick up that orange red, let's say I pick up literally orange red, that's funny, uh, and I don't mix that orange red, I don't learn how to mix orange red. I don't learn how to mix the exact orange red that I'm looking for in my mind or in my eye from when I'm looking at something. But also as miniature painters, we don't use generally references. I don't look at, I don't go in the wild or go on Google image and find real life pictures of little death watch aggressors, right? I'm just free, you know, you're just free, uh, freestyling. So, if I kind of got off topic here, but so all the time I want to do in my hobby, including these videos and when I'm painting, I want to try and channel that focus towards the ultimate goal of doing whatever I want every single day. And that's it, right? That's probably how I should start this video. How to do everything. <laughs> oh, there. Uh, this is, yeah. what's up YouTube? I'm going to teach you how to do anything you want every day. Uh, right? So that's what that would sound like. And then we'll cut to an advertisement of a really crazy expensive mattress or how to look like a Hollywood celebrity by doing intermittent fasting. Right? Big time. Big time stuff. So this is definitely the vlog of somebody that has lost their mind and just rambling into the camera so if my ultimate goal let's say i bought a piece of land put a container on it like a shipping container made a tiny home or off-grid home or whatever to whatever is the cheapest absolute thing had a cool little bed some solar some internet some led lamps uh, maybe an outdoor patio food water a place to go number two and a bomb desk right like a monster setup with like five different desks with airbrush stations and paint stations and you know stacks of warhammer models i haven't even cleaned the mold lines off of yet like in white rice for dinner for a week because i can only afford gas to go to the store and i got a budget so i can't go for like three more days just so i don't go over budget and i'm gonna buy like some eggs and it's gonna be a good time i'm gonna cook it on my little rocket stove uh you know so on and so forth and i'm gonna make youtube videos about it right now that sounds awesome to me 
And this might just be the opposite of somebody that used to be a raging alcoholic and now is a boring, sober hermit who paints a lot more miniatures than he used to. But as always, don't forget, I have always, always, always loved art. I would go to thrift stores and buy art books. Sometimes I accidentally buy the same book because it'll be like a book of Michelangelo's work. And then I'll go home and I'll put it on my shelf and then I'll look and I'll be like, oh, I have two of those now. And you know what? I don't care. I'll keep two of them. That's how much I like art, right? Uh, Artrenewal.com is like the best online gallery of master artwork. It's amazing. High uh, quality videos. So now let's manufacture this into the next step. And remember, this is an this might make no sense to you, but this is something maybe I can watch when I turn 33, July 30th. And uh, then I'll have like a month or so of time that I could ask myself, like, you know, what, did I do it? Did I try? You know, am I trying? So let's say I menu. So let's say I save a lot of money. I sell a lot of extra armies. A lot of extra projects I paint things I play with them while I'm working on the army and then I sell it or whatever I make money that way plus I still have my job right I invest that money in stock paying dividend and their dividend paying stocks uh, and I save money and I you know I don't buy the double you know ten dollar cheeseburger combo right I buy the single for six ninety nine or whatever whatever right pinch pinch pennies you know you're not reusing your toilet paper or nothing nothing that crazy but so now you have purchased a plot of land, say it's within an hour or so of where you enjoy uh, gaming with your gaming group or your gaming friends, or maybe you can get a nice place that people want to come out and visit and stay with you for a weekend, right? And then you make YouTube videos and game or whatever. So you're, say, within an hour or so of where you like to play and hang out. You spend your week doing literally whatever you want any single thing that comes across your mind you could do it you could buy a bow and arrow or a bow and arrows set up a little hay thing in the back of your storage container and <laughs> uh, shoot target practice right because you want to get outside and you could do all of this with a car and have a way 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 more like technologically advanced life than every single painter who has a painting in the Louvre. Wow. That's weird, right? <laughs> so, about manufacturing towards your, or I guess man, manufacturing towards your goal, I'm just curious. So if you took, it seems weird like saying this out loud because I sound even to myself, like a crazy person, but it actually makes me happy, so it must be an okay idea. And if it doesn't turn out, then, well, maybe I was wrong. But So let's say my goal was to do artwork, be a professional painter, and my medium of choice was miniature painting, and I wanted to become a great miniature painter. Now, how would you take steps to do that, right? Now, obviously, painting a lot would be number one. That's the most important. Uh, being on YouTube, creating a fan base, you know, that's going to be very important. Maybe competing in a some kind of local or national level and trying to win like a Golden Demon or a Crystal Brush or something along those lines. And I'm not in denial. Like, I'm way, way, way distanced from those people but all of those a lot of the top level painters assuming that they're all on Instagram and I feel like I've seen them all uh, they all float in an area right there's not that many that are even that much I'm gonna how do I put this it's probably like there's probably a ceiling in some sense on how good somebody can realistically be what would that be and it's like a 
not a bell curve, but some kind of big curve, right? So there's everybody that paints, everybody that paints, but everybody that takes it real, real, real serious and puts a lot, a lot of time, and a lot of effort, and you know, practices on specific things to improve and blah, blah, blah. You know, they're gonna start, they're gonna jump way ahead of this bottom level, right? The bottom half for sure. They're gonna jump above that, no problem at all. Now they're gonna eventually, you, I think you'd be able to go from beginner to crazy advanced much, much faster plateau. That's what it's called, I think. When you're at that super high level, you really are plateauing and it's, you know, there's maybe not a lot of things that are challenging your ideas or people maybe just don't even notice. So even though you're improving to yourself, uh, to the untrained eye, it doesn't look, you know, any say that much better, even though to you, you might be able to hold it to one of your miniatures you did a year ago. And then um, obviously it's going to look a lot better to you. And that's also the curse of just creating art, right? You're your own biggest critic. And everybody else that didn't have to watch every brushstroke is more impressed because all they see is the final product. So if you tried really hard, you could get into the top. Let's just say top 10%. I don't know what the number would be. It's all made up anyway. So if you tried really hard at something, you could get into the top 10%, right? If you were tried at least... Maybe. I don't know. Let's just say you can. So then you get a claw around with the upper percentiles of maybe the most skilled painters or whatever, for example. And then people recognize you for that. And they, you know, you become, uh, you know, maybe they want to buy your work. Right? So then maybe instead of having to paint, 2,000 point ultramarine army from somebody somebody would rather give you you know 200 bucks or whatever $300 $400 and you paint like a awesome Gilliman right if somebody pays you $400 and you paint you know an epic lord of change for them right maybe charge more than 400 I don't really know how it works I don't really charge anybody for this so it's just interesting to think that it's very achievable if you put in the time and if that was your goal are you putting in the effort and time towards it so every time I'm doing anything hobby related I feel like I'm putting in some sort of effort towards my goal and every time I put money away in uh, the stock market or whatever I feel like I'm investing in my goal and I'm just curious if any of you invest in your goal. And it might not be art related. It might not be Warhammer related at all. You might just want to have like a family and maybe, you know, start a uh, cupcake business or something. I don't know. Right. So I'm just curious what you guys are all up to. Uh, I'd love some response videos if anybody feels comfortable enough rambling on into the Internet for 20 minutes <laughs> all the crazy things that are going through their head all the time but let's just pretend this was a motivational video to say subscribe to my channel we're doing giveaways every hundred subscribers it's the weekend go out and buy a new paint buy a new color uh, my paint of the day maybe we'll start that sometime not that one uh, this one burnt red Get Burnt Red from Vallejo Model Color. It's freaking awesome. Uh, put in your time into your hobby. If you know, Don't be ashamed if like playing Warhammer or painting Warhammer or playing board games or whatever, if that's what you like. Uh, you're in the golden age of you know that sort of thing with the internet and Kickstarter and Patreon and YouTube. Uh, so maybe it is a crazy idea and this is a little bit of a vulnerable video, I guess because it does sound crazy right it sounds crazy to ramble on like this uh, but it's fun to think about i guess daydream night dream it's pretty late uh, so i'll be curious the response on this video too if it even made that much sense i might have went a little off the rails but that's what happens when you're just kind of basically saying out loud all the thoughts 
on a particular subject without, you know, writing a script or whatever. And I haven't written any scripts yet, but I assume that's, you know, more smooth. So what's your goals? And if it's, you know, if it's a hobby related or any hobby, if you have goals related to that hobby, and I'm talking big goals, don't be afraid to say you want to open up the Warhammer world of, you know, Kansas City. And then you're also going to be the number one barbecue place and you're a paint manufacturer. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, deep dive into my brain. And we'll be going more on these in the future, whether you like it or not. So might as well stick around and uh, make fun of me at least, right? Peace.